All right, welcome to another video. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change out the lock cylinder on a set of these full doors for a TJ Wrangler 97 to 06. So in my case, when I bought the Jeep, the key for the ignition in the back does not work in the doors. These probably came from another Jeep. Well, in fact, I know they did. I'll show you how I know that for sure here in a minute. People act like this is like the hardest thing in the world to do. It's actually very, very easy to do. Um, to make it easy, we're gonna take the doors off. Before I take the doors off, I'm gonna take the panel off just because it's easier to work on like this. So I'll show you how we do that. Tools you'll need, a Phillips head screwdriver, some little pick or small screwdriver type device, and a T15 Torx bit. All right, so T15. Start by taking these ones out here. And then there's a couple more. There's one on the side here. And then there's two on the bottom. You do not need to take this screw out here, just leave that. All right, so now we need to pop off the window crank. So basically, I'll show you the clip here in just a second. There's a little clip in here. And depending, you may have to face this a different direction. See that little piece of metal? So we're gonna pull up, we're gonna just pull the clip out, basically. And then it's a retaining clip, uses spring tension. Now, this, like I just said, this spring. So what you don't want is for this to just go flying and you to lose it because then you have to go to the parts store and see if you can buy another one. Kind of pop my hand on here to keep it from flying off. So here's the little clip. It's this little spring clip here, you can see. And then this will just come right off, pull straight off, take the gasket off. Now to get the door panel off, just there's some clips. Kind of pull clips out. Okay, and then lift up. And the panel comes off. Just set that aside. These things are known for cracking. That good Mopar plastic. Uh, not a whole lot you can do about it, but I am going to reinforce these with plastic welder while the door is off, just so the cracks don't get any worse. All right, so now we need to take the door hinges apart. For that, you need a half inch socket. If you've never had these off, probably gonna be a problem, just because the uh, pin will probably be rusted in place. Hopefully you've had your doors off. And that's things to have a flat workspace to work on the door. I'm just using the back of this four-wheeler here with this piece of cardboard on it to protect it. That way the mirror can kind of fall down next to the seat. As you can see, these doors belong to a greenish-blue Jeep. So anyway, it's kind of hard to see. I'll try to get you a shot here. The lock cylinder is back inside of here. Now what we are looking for, it is held in place by a, another type of spring clip. You can see the lock cylinder you know, about where it is. So it's like under here. You can kind of just see you know, the mechanism. So the first step is we're gonna release this rod right here. So all you gotta do is push the plastic like that, and then pull up on the rod, okay? That's all you gotta do. So the window does need to be up to do this. All right, so that little clip, so I'm just gonna pry like this. Okay, okay. it is now off. So you can kinda see what that looks like. See, it just pushes under and holds it in place. So now, the lock cylinder will come out. 
Remember, we release that rod. Just, we're just gonna wiggle it out here and watch that rod kind of bend it so it all comes out as one unit like that. We're gonna set the old one right here. Now I had this really helpful seller on eBay who keyed these for me. So I just sent him a picture of the ignition key for my Jeep and he was able to key these uh, Stratic OEM locks for me to match and then shipped them to me. And it wasn't that expensive. So I'll have the link to that in the description. So you can see all we need to do is we need to transfer this onto here. Do that. We're going to pop this little orient them the same direction we're gonna pop this little clip off thing over here all right so that kind of just went flying but i caught it so remember remember your orientation gonna keep these the same just take this set it on there Pushed up into place. And just obviously just double check and make sure that everything turns with your key. This only goes one way. So we're just gonna start. So we're just gonna start obviously with the cylinder. We're gonna stick it up through. Now you want to make sure that that lock cylinder comes up on top of all this mechanism here. Help yourself out. And then just kind of get this thing pushed up in here. All right, so you can see it's flush. I'm holding it flush right now. You can go ahead and just put this back in here and then lock it in. So while I'm holding it flush, this is like the hardest part of the whole thing right here. You're gonna take this. And if you wanna put a little WD-40 on there, it might make your life a little easier. So while holding it flush, you wanna slide this in you kind of got to do this by feel. So once you get it, you'll know because that will be sitting flush and it won't be loose at all. And it's not abnormal that the spring, instead of being like flat against the metal in the back here on the tab, it may be elevated a little bit and that's, that's okay, that's normal. It's just a slight difference between how it clips in on here. Okay, so now we're ready to put the door back on and reassemble everything. But first, obviously, once I'm going to do I'm going to set the door on. I'm just going to try the key. Actually, I can do it right now. Stick the key in the lock. You should see. It actuates everything like it's supposed to. Plastic water. I'm going to hold the gap shut. Get one down near the base, and I'll get one at the top. Just don't want to go too far.
that. Basically just seals the crack up. I mean, it's still there, but keep it from looking so bad and spreading. Then I'll just cut these off with, those are hard as a rock now, cut that off with some pliers and we'll get the door panel put back on. All right, so to get our panel back on, I'm just gonna kind of set it up here in the window track. Make sure the holes these pull out so make sure the holes are all lined up before you put these back in and so now to get our window put back correctly so we're gonna pre kind of pre-stage this you want this thing to be facing like the side of it just so it's easy to get out next time you don't want it going this way so it could be like this, like this, or like this, but in reality it needs to be like this. You can see there's some grooves in here. And so you want to get that pushed down in there like that. And set the gasket over it. And then position it in a way where, so if the window's all the way up, where it's going to be convenient for it to stop when the window's up. And then that should go on and not come back off. Just make sure your window goes up and down. Like that. Make sure you can manually move the locks. Everything works. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully the video was helpful. Like I said, not that hard, really. You know, both sides, half hour, taking your time. Um, hardest part is getting that spring back in you just gotta you know get it so both of the little tabs are aligned around the base of the lock and you'll kind of get a feel for it and just push it in there so again i'll have a link in the description uh, to that ebay seller because like i said he was really helpful i just sent him a picture a high definition picture of the key and he got it right out to me and it made this project a lot easier so thanks for watching Till next time we'll see you later